Hello everybody, welcome to another live stream where today we are playing on Hypixel, playing some Bed Wars, if you get, blah, 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 getting tongue-tied as usual, but if you would like to join in the game, go ahead and stick your in-game name into the chat of the stream and we can go ahead and have some fun, play some Bed Wars, all that kind of stuff. G1 Games, hello, welcome to you, I'm guessing you want to be invited into the game, so party invite G1 Games, there we go. And Lips and Eddie, hello, welcome to you as well, welcome to the day, welcome to the stream. Uh, G1 Games says, is today going to be a longer stream? Um, I don't know. Like, not as long as usual, but hopefully longer than we've been doing. We'll see. We will see. Um, G1 Games joined the party. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and see what, what do we have here today. We have Voidless Mode. That mode is a lot of fun indeed. And let me know which particular modes you would like to try, and we can go ahead and try some of those things. Lupus 590 says, question about what's on the screen at the moment. That's referring to the um, intro the countdown intro thing um question about the countdown intro thing is this a looping short video or did you actually record five minutes of your character in minecraft it is a combination so it's not five minutes of recording um every time it loops it's like it's difficult to get it so that it doesn't jump so it's like a thing of um, like a, t uh, a clip of it going around a few times. I don't remember how many times exactly, um, but then it loops. So I think it might loop every, I don't know, 10 or 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds or so. Um, so it's less noticeable if there is a slight jump between the loop. Um, so that's, so it's kind of a combination of the two is kind of what's going on there. And we got loads of materials now. Let's go ahead and start building a bridge. Um, which does two things. Having a smaller file means that it's easier for OBS to load. Um, so, like, it's nice that way. Uh, Lupsenity says, uh, also, you might want to redo it with your new skin. That is very true. Um, eventually get around to doing that. Right now, I'm trying to launch the tech channel back into working. And why am I building a bridge over when we, when we can just jump? <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, yeah, working on getting the tech channel launched. So it's not as high a prayer. Oh. Okay, didn't expect to actually get that yellow guy down, but that'll do. Um, yeah, it's not as high a priority. Like, people still get the idea of the intro. So it's kind of, like, of the countdown. So, I don't know. I think it is okay for now. Uh, what does say is... Um, also... Hang on. We'll grab some diamonds while we can. Well, grab a diamond while we can. Uh, where do we want to go? We want to go to... We could go to gray... You know what? That might not be a bad idea. We should really get some tools and things, some basic blocks, and yellow has been at our base already. So if I can go ahead and head back up to the base over here and try to... Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, pile up like this, try to get some basic bed-destroying materials, and then see if we can uh, do some of that stuff there. Um, yes, let's set any sails. There's... Uh, hang on, let's go ahead and actually stand on the forge, that would help. Lipsonade says, uh, and is the icon slideshow in the bottom left an overlay or baked into the video? It is a, the, the, the one in the countdown is an overlay of three icons going by, and I had a little difficulty, like, some transition effects for them made them look really weird, so they started, like, jumping instead of just moving nicely, so... Took some, uh, some figure. Uh, hello, yellow. Yellow's here. Yellow's here. No, bad destroyed. Okay, yellow. Goodbye. Y y uh, goodbye, yellow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, I got a couple hits in, oh, and I'm dead. Okay, but G1 Games is still alive. Let's see if G1 Games, where is he at right now? Over here. There we go. Oh, nice. Looks like you got the yellow guys taken care of. Um, yeah, so it's just three icons looping around in an overlay. It's not actually a uh, video. Okay, G1 Games has a lot less health than that guy to start with, so this is going to be... Uh, okay, well, that would be that. Let's go ahead and try this again, and I think I'm going to try heading to other islands first instead of to the um, middle. That seems to be a good strategy for these maps. Uh, yes. Uh, where was they at? Hang on, I think the chat is a little too small to read. Just need to fix that. There we go. Nice, okay. Lipsonity says, 
Um, same with the text and timer, I guess. The timer is actually a video. Uh, I think it was... I think it was... It might have been a... I can't remember if it was an alpha video or a green screen video. Because um, you can actually do that. Put a, put a, like make a video with a green background and then use the OBS green screen effect to green screen out the background. Um, so I can't remember which one, but the timer is a video. And uh, the text is depending which text you're talking about. So the current song text is just like a text element reading out of a text file. And that text file is updated by the Pretzel Rocks app, which is really nice. It uh, is a lot less, uh, like, I don't have to keep, like, programming it every time. It just goes ahead and updates every time. Um, the text, like, the channel name and all that, that is actually, you can still see it over there, actually, and that is actually just simply text. Uh... Okay, where were... Okay, I keep getting lost in the chat, sorry. By the way, if you guys want to join, if you're just tuning into the stream, if you would like to join in the game, go ahead and stick your in-game name into the chat of the stream, and we can go ahead and have some fun, play some games, and try to win Bed Wars. And apparently I've not played this mode in quite a while, so a little bit rusty on how to actually do it. And nice, Jew and Games got that red game. We need to get back into the... Uh, the muscle memory and all that, I guess you could say, of, like, what to do first, where to go, when to move, how long to stay at the forge, things like that, um, and get better at it, because we never were particularly... Oops. <laughs> well, we were always particularly oops, but we weren't always particularly uh, good at it, um, seeing as we brought ourselves down to three hearts. Okay. G1 Games says to take a breath. Yeah. Yeah, um, kind of uh, talk really fast sometimes. Sometimes talking fast is actually really fun. I don't know if you've ever tried it, but it is uh, It can be a lot of fun to the difficulty is to make it understandable and On a microphone like this especially with there's um, there's fans on in the room now and everything It's got a lot of noise suppression on it. So if I don't like pronounce everything properly Then you guys can't understand <laughs> properly. So it's uh, it's trying to Make sure to actually pronounce everything properly is kind of the thing um, Lipsenny says, clever to build yourself in with the bed. Yeah, like that yellow guy was doing. That is a very smart idea. Just build up. Let's uh, sneak. That is very smart. I don't know. Should we try that? We don't have any blocks to do that with, though. That's the thing. But we are, in fact, up here. Is there somebody? Yeah, there's somebody in the base here. I'm going to just stay on top of this base. Which base is this? This would be Aqua, I think. Oh, bed destroyed. You will no longer respawn. Okay, well, I'm going to try to stay... Oh, actually, G1 Games is out now, too. So I'm going to do the jumping down thing. Jump down and try to take out the bed while we can. And uh, okay, well, that didn't exactly work according to plan. But yeah, building yourself in might be a good idea. Let's go ahead and try this again. Uh, okay. Jimin Games says, how can you talk so fast without taking a breath, lol? Um, practice, basically. Practice is the, uh, the thing. Though so it just, uh... Yeah, it's, I don't know, it's about, like, managing, like, how, um, how fast you breathe, kind of thing. Like, breathing in a lot and then, like, letting your breath out more slowly, if possible. Um, that seems to uh, seems to work pretty well. That way you can go ahead and keep talking like this all of the time and keep going back and forth and go to the forge over here and get all, all the way to the place where you go ahead and head with your bridge and all that kind of stuff and keep talking like that, and that is kind of the idea. So, that's that uh, example. But uh, sneak click to add to quick buy because we removed it by accident. <laughs> but in any case, that would be that. We got some blocks now. Uh, we need our tools, and then we need to do the building ourselves in. Um, Jimin Games says, if we win, can I get a screenshot? Yes, you can. That would be excellent indeed. So let's go ahead and try to win. That is the idea. So, in other news... Oh, we just used up our, uh, 
iron that we were trying to get tools with. But in other news, I don't know uh, what things are like where you guys are, but the summer heat has just hit this week. So this week, it's been very difficult to get anything done. It's like, you know, you try to do something and you just feel so... Um, I was going to say laggy, but I guess laggy doesn't really... isn't quite the right word. But anyways, it's just like... Yeah, it's just crazy. G Win Games says it's hot. Yeah, that is uh, that's so it's hot in your area too. It like the weather always depends, so I never know different areas, you know. But uh, it is currently uh, pretty close. I think it's about 29 Celsius in my room at the moment, uh, which in Fahrenheit, I th oh, and I just used the iron again. Um, in Fahrenheit, I think that's like around 85 or so Fahrenheit. So, yeah, it's, like, really, really hot in the room right now. So that's kind of a thing. So I was doing some looking into this week what we can do about that to help manage the temperature a little bit, and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And these guys already have a regeneration field around their base, which means it's time for us to take it out. It is time for us to take out their regeneration field. Actually, we can't do that, but we can take out their bed, which is the next best thing. Uh, Lipset80 says, warm here in the UK, too. The dog hated it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess dogs may not like such warm weathers. Um, okay, let's try to jump around. Okay, there we go. We made it in successfully. Okay. Given Games says, summer's going to be weird because of the... Uh, Cough, cough. I'm, I don't know what you mean. Um, unless you mean coronavirus. Yeah, that could be interesting. Could be interesting. Um, okay. Oh, Aqua is preoccupied. Okay. We got the Aqua bed. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Aqua's like, what? What happened? Okay, and now they're following. And now they just took a lot of damage going down the cliff. And now we just need to go ahead and get a lot of hits in without taking too much damage. We just took out an Aqua player. Nice indeed. Okay, and I don't know where the other Aqua player is. Um, okay. Let's head over here. And let's see. Um, wait. This appears to be... Okay, was not prepared for that fight at all. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, but in other news, the uh, tech channel been working on trying to get that up and running. Um, this week was working a lot on trying to, uh, like, you know, you find out when you don't, like, I want to actually, I ha have an idea you guys might like for basically uh, Lupus and G1 uh, Games and Lupus Fedani saying coronavirus, you see, Say that and YouTube demonetizes. Um, they, I don't think they still do. They, um, they changed their policy as it became an ongoing issue. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out on this one. Although this isn't monetized yet, anyway, so it wouldn't really affect it. But because uh, they have a policy about things with. Um, what's it called? Uh, like, basically, events that happen that are, like, really uh, sensitive events kind of thing. And so they have a policy about that. And But that's for, like, momentary things. Like, the kind of stuff that you hear on the news. Like, oh, something just happened this weekend and it was crazy and all that. And there's, like, policies around some things like that. And then they changed things for the uh, virus because it was a ongoing more long term issue so that people could talk about it so they changed that um, but I don't remember how much they changed it in what way and so I like I don't know if it's been completely like allowed or not but there have been since the initial time so yeah I don't know I don't know Something like that. But uh, thanks for pointing that out. Good to know. Oh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. We almost made it. Okay, we are one of three teams remaining with beds. So that is nice. So we've got... Where do we have those? Um, we have blue and white. 
white would be over there, and blue, that would be aqua. Blue would be, I think that's blue over there. It's a little difficult to see because of being so far away. Um, but we're going to need some technique to be able to get into white because they're pretty well defended. But I think we may be able to take blue out, possibly, depending on what they have. So I'm going to have to try that. Uh, Lipsony says it's per video. Uh, I watch SciShow and their COVID news videos are not monetized from what I've noticed, but their other ones still are. Their latest one wasn't, so it might still be a thing. Um, that's possible. That's possible. Uh, Metal Ice TV, hello! Welcome to you, welcome to the day. Welcome to the stream. If you would like blah, 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 blah. if you would like to join in the game, go ahead and stick your in-game name into the chat of the stream. Um, Metalize TV says, can I donate somehow? That might be the first time anyone's ever asked that question, actually. Um, so thank you. Um, there's actually a link on my Twitch um, like, uh, channel. Sorry, words. <laughs> Losing words. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a donate link on my Twitch channel. Nobody's actually used it yet, so I don't know if it like works or anything, but it should work. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's there. And, I don't know, the alert may still come on the screen. It's, I'm not sure if that's set up right or not. Um, but it may still come on the screen, even though of, uh, being on the YouTube side of things. So, but yeah, thanks, thanks for offering, that's really nice. I don't think anybody's, uh, that I can remember. So, uh, Lupsenity says, I wonder if... Uh, C19 and C19 are keywords that YouTube uses to detect. I don't know. That's possible. It's possible. But uh, as far as monetizing, it doesn't really matter because yet, at least, because um, you can't really you can't monetize through YouTube's methods until you have a thousand subscribers, which the tech channel is getting pretty close to. But the uh, Gaming, like this channel, is not close to a thousand yet, so <laughs> that's kind of the thing. Um, but yeah, as far as the tech channel goes, uh, G1 Games says I have a link to donate if I can post it here. Um, I guess, like, I, you mean the one, the one from the Twitch channel? You mean? Like, I have no idea if that it should work, but I set it up like a couple years ago, so, but it should still work. Okay, let's head up here. Let's try to take out blue while we can. Um, hello? What's happening? Oh, yellow's heading to blue is what's happening. Okay, well, blue is preoccupied. I'm gonna head in here and break blue's bed. There we go. We got blue down and yellow is uh, preoccupied. I'm gonna try to take this blue guy out if we can, but that guy apparently will not uh, work or something. I... Okay, <laughs> sorry. Too many things going on at once. I'm like thinking of a million things at once and having trouble concentrating and making sentences fit together in any coherent order. Uh, Lufusenity says, um, if Robert okays it, I'll do the mod thing to get it through. Yep, sure, if it's uh, if it's the right link. But I mean, you can just go to the Twitch uh, channel. It's like easy to find. It's just right there on the page there. Um, but uh, yeah, okay. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get a gold ingot just like that. Okay, so we got the blue team bed down at least. And we need to take out white's... Ooh. White is on his way right over here. He's on <laughs> he's on his way uh, on his way right over here. He's on his way to uh, to investigate and he's wandering around and he's inspecting the area. And, uh, oh yes, I was saying about the tech channel. Sorry, five thoughts going on at once. <laughs> okay, the tech channel. Oh, new follower on Twitch. Thanks for the follow on Twitch. Um, yeah, we do, um, I don't know if you have ever watched on Twitch before, but every Friday, usually around 4, 15 p.m. Eastern time, we go ahead and play the custom mod pack that I made. A thinking pack too. Okay, did that guy actually go down? Yes, he did. Nice. Um, yeah, but we play that every Friday on Twitch and have some fun with that. And you can actually try it if you would like to try it for yourself. It's public on the Twitch launcher. And if I'm going to catch this guy, I should probably keep jumping because you can go faster that way. 
Okay, uh, almost got another hit in, but didn't quite get another hit in on that guy, but okay. Come back here, sir. Oh, their beds are both destroyed. Okay, so uh, G1 Games, I don't know if you're still at the base, but if you can watch the bed, that would be very good. Um, but this guy is going down, and he's going to go to the right, so I'm going to go to the right ahead of him to get a little bit of a smaller trajectory on this thing, but it didn't really work because there was a tree in the way, so never mind. But let's go through here, through here, and okay, there we go. We got another hit in on that guy, but not enough of a hit. I don't think we actually did any damage. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of them over here, but in any case, we are getting, uh, we are going well. As, oh, the bed is destroyed. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, okay, what is going on here? Uh, okay, goodbye. I'm down to a heart and a half. It's probably time to uh, remove myself from the premises. That is the idea. That is the idea. And there's some particles going on. I don't know if that's G1 Games or if that's an invisible player from, from another uh, team. Oh, it looks like G1 Games is out, which means that somebody's probably behind me. Yes, that's an invisible player. Okay, well, we made it into the top three. Which is very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Okay, white and blue are still alive, and we are out. So, let's go ahead and try this again. That was really good. That was a really good game, actually. Good job, G1 Games. Good job, indeed. Indeed. Uh, yes, yeah, so as I was saying, uh, and Lipsetani says, well, the follower thing says that your Twitch integration works. Yes, that is a good proof of that. That is a good proof of that, indeed. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, here we go. Okay, so, as I was trying to say, and we keep <laughs> interrupting with, uh, with the game, it's almost like we're playing a game or something, you know? Like, why would we ever play a game on a minigames live stream? That's kind of weird. But in any case, as I was trying to say, the, uh, the tech channel, for those of you guys who are wanting that, it is, uh, I was working this week on trying to clean up my room because, you know, you don't record, uh, I haven't recorded in here for a while, except for a couple of, like, still shot videos, and, um, still shot videos, still shot is usually a picture, but, you know, like, you hold the camera like that, um, but basically, basically, what I'd like to do, you guys might really, um, enjoy one of the first videos I was thinking of doing, and we'll see, of course, how this works out, but was different types of webcams you can use. And I actually found a... Okay, I found an enemy player is what I found, and the bed's destroyed already. Okay. Um, where did he go? Okay, I think G1 Games got him. But, okay. Um, but yeah, basically an idea for webcams for a quad camera setup, is that what you call it? Like, four camera, all running into the same OBS, and I think it should even work on live streams. I, I tested it briefly just to see proof of concept. Um, I didn't quite get all the like stability and everything um, tested, and the uh, you have to sync them all up with timing and with the microphone and all that, and I didn't quite get that all finished. Um, but proof of concept, it seems to work. And so it was going to do that kind of a thing. And so that obviously is like, oh, I uh, heard something. That obviously is like, you know, you have a camera over here and over here and everywhere. And then you realize that, wait, apparently, I haven't, <laughs> apparently a lot of these things need dusting in the room. Um, yeah, apparently that, uh, that has been kind of overlooked in a while. So that kind of needs to be fixed and found out that I actually had, uh, actually had some like cards and things with my address on them around in the room and I'm like nope that can't be going you know on camera and so I'm like okay gotta kind of get the room in uh, in shape a little bit to get the tech channel camera video thing going um, and that's kind of the idea so I've been trying to work this week in the heat of trying to get the room in shape to do the tech channel stuff so that's kind of the idea um, Let's uh, let's grab this stuff since our bed has been uh, since our bed has been destroyed already. Steven Seven, hello, welcome to you, welcome to the day, welcome to the stream. And yes, G1 Games, you uh, not G1 Games, yes, G1 Games is already in, but Steven Seven, okay, wrong name, there we go, <laughs> Steven Seven, S T E P H E N S E V E N can definitely be invited into the game. So welcome to the game, welcome to the day, welcome to the stream, welcome to having some fun and playing some games in Minecraft on Hypixel with mini games, And we can't jump up on top of that thing. 
So let's go over here. There we go. Now we can jump on top of the thing. Now we can find out that uh, that nothing much is happening. Okay. We can look like the... Uh, you know how a lot of houses have like um, a, a steeple thing with like a chicken on top, like a weather vane chicken? That's what we are. <laughs> we're the uh, we're the weather vane chicken. We're on top of this uh, house right here. That is that is the idea. That is the idea indeed. Should we defend this roof? That might be an idea. That might be an interesting idea. It's possible. It's possible. Uh, Lipsonini says, four video feeds seem like a lot for your PC. Actually, they don't appear to be. Oh, G1 Games is defending this. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and defend this. Get this up and running nicely. I'm going to do this. Um, they're actually surprisingly not a lot. What the uh, more the intense thing is, um, is that is the resolution. So the concept for it was to be able to run four cameras in full resolution, like full 720 resolution. And so the way I was doing that in the one OBS is setting up a 1440p recording, which basically means that it can run four 720p windows side by side in full resolution. And so then you can go in editing afterwards uh, especially in Shotcut, where it has presets for cropping, and you can do the thing like, I think, um, if I understand right, Final Cut Pro has a feature, probably Adobe Premiere has as well, I don't know, um, but has a feature where you can have like up to 16 cameras, and you can be watching your edited video back, and just go ahead and like click on which perspective you want it to be at the time. So this would be like as, uh, as close to that as possible, because it would be basically full resolution and then you use the um, cropping presets to be able to go and switch camera perspectives very easily. That's the concept. And so like as I said I did a proof of concept that seems to work. Um, but 1440p is uh, <laughs> is a lot because that's four times as much for the computer to process. So doing it for a simple live stream for like a 720p where you just go ahead and switch cameras in the live stream just have one on the screen at a time um or even four at a time but just like have them downscaling um that should be doable should be manageable and shouldn't really slow it down at all but the especially if you don't have any games running at the time um but Trying to record in 1440 really caps the CPU really close to its uh, its limit, so that is kind of that kind of slowed it. Uh, well, threatened to slow it down a lot. It seemed to be okay. It seemed to be stable. Um, but yeah, that that kind of is the idea. So we'll see. We'll see. Have to do more testing on it. Uh, and says. Um, weather vane works too. That's the word. Yeah, weather <laughs> weather vane. Hello, my name is Weather Vane. I'm standing here, and it is. Uh, you may ask, am I standing here in vain? Well, that's a question. And we will find out as soon as we uh, as soon as we die. Oh, Jim and Games is out already. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tackle one of these bases. Who needs to be tackled? Let's see. Yellow. Yellow looks like they need somebody to come visit them and try to take out their bed. That seems like a good idea. So let's go ahead and do that. And if it works, then we've made progress. If it doesn't work, then you guys can drain the game again sooner because we'll all have died. So, uh, oh, okay. Stone sword, cyan wool. Got lots of wool and things. Oh, Jim and Games says I have to go. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed the stream and uh, have fun doing whatever it is that you are doing. Uh, let's just see party list. All right, Steven7, yes. So I will go ahead and head over here as quickly as... Oh, where'd my sword go? There we go. Kind of need that. That's kind of important. So let's grab a golden apple if we can. Okay, let's eat it right now because we're gonna... We lost a lot of health. So, okay. 
head up here, head up here as quick as possible. We have eaten a golden apple. Time to head in, not in here. Let's head up here. There we go, okay. Let's sneak so that they hopefully don't see the name tag coming. We will see, we will see, we will see. Okay, hello! Oh, he totally didn't notice. Okay, but that guy did. That guy did for sure. Okay, well, now I'm out. So let's go ahead and jump into a round of something or other. Of uh, probably some more voidless mode if you guys want to try that. So let's go ahead and try some voidless mode. Jump into this right about here. Voidless 4v4v4. Okay, g -Wing Games isn't online. Party kick off line. There we go. And doubles. All right. So let's jump into this right about here. Uh, Lipsonity says stitch four 720 cameras to mimic one 1081. Um, yeah, that's basically basically the idea is like on screen having just the screen split in four with four 720 cameras. Um, although 720 and 1080 is not actually the math, the math is 720 doubles to 1440, which is 2K. So that can use up your hard drive space really quick as well. But uh, but yeah, so that's that's the concept. It takes a bit more testing to uh, to like make sure that it's working. Get the timings right. That's the main thing. Getting the uh, the sync right. Most of it works. But the thing is that uh, to use it in these scenes that I use all the time for uh, <laughs> any is hard to raid a base without any weapons. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of a issue. That's kind of an issue. Um, yeah, but the idea is... what was I saying? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but in any case, in any case, it is, uh, it's an interesting concept. And we'll see. Okay, grab this. Need ten more iron for another tool. Another tool is on its way fairly soon. Fairly soon indeed. But if you guys are just tuning into the stream, if you would like... Uh, sorry. I feel like I'm getting uh, f uh, stumbling over my words and not actually pronouncing them clear enough for you guys to be able to hear. But if you guys are just tuning into the stream, go ahead and stick your in-game name into the chat if you would like to join in the game. Because that's what an in-game name is for, is for joining in the game. So you're welcome to, to do that if you choose to do so. And otherwise, just enjoy the stream and enjoy... Um, enjoy my pathetic attempts at winning bed wars <laughs> is basically what we do that's basically what we do is we have uh, we try to win bed wars and fail pathetically is basically how it usually works but we shall see we shall see if we can turn that around this time and okay what are we gonna do what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Um, let's, because we could go to diamonds, we could go to that island, we could go to that island. I'm just trying to assess. That island appears to not have, well, they appear to have a lot of players on them. Um, oh! Oh, here's an idea, is follow the chat. The chat is saying green is being killed by blue, which means that blue's base is probably unoccupied at the moment. Um, or at least was. Yellow is very much at their own base. Blue's base was unoccupied, mostly. Um, red may not be occupying their base either, because they're doing a lot of going around. Hello, Steven7, greetings. Um, let's try to go to... I don't know, we waited so long they've probably gone back to the base. Okay, so we can see a lot of white players. I'm looking for a base that is not very occupied. You know what? Let's go. Let's grab some more wool, and then let's go ahead and just run around the middle so that we can head to... Oh, slain by green. Oh, and green's bed was destroyed while they were away from the base. Okay. Oh, and we need actually some more um, materials for that. There we go. Okay. Time to go. So green... Oh wait, green's bed was destroyed by who? Yellow. Ooh. 
That means Yellow's base may be slow. Okay, losing a lot of health right there. Yellow's base may be slightly unoccupied. Okay, here we go. On the way up, on the way up, on the way over and up, over and up and down and back here. Let's go back here so that they don't see us coming as easily. Hopefully. We'll find out when we get there. That is a thing that happens in Bed Wars, as you find out when you get there, whether it was worth the trip. <laughs> that's the, uh, that's the issue. Oh, hello! This was not the place to get in, although I just got a whole lot of good hits in on that guy. Oh, and then I, uh, stopped holding the sword. Okay, can I get, oh, oh, he was down to one heart. One heart remaining. Oh, and our bed has been destroyed. Okay, but Yellow's bed has been destroyed as well. But, uh, yeah, we got a problem here. We've got red and blue and white. Okay, let's go for white. Let's go for no. No, 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 no. Yes, let's go for white. Let's see. Is this the white thing to do or is it not? Okay, he's uh, ready for a fight. He's definitely, definitely is. Um, but we now have Steven Seven over here. Is very much on his way into place. He's on his way to some place, and the place is looking like the red base. What? Uh, nope, no, nope, the blue base or the yellow base. Oh, the aqua base. Actually, he's probably heading to the aqua base because that's our own base. Or um, perhaps he's heading to the yellow base. It appears to be the yellow base. Appears to be the yellow base. So what is he going to do at the yellow base? He's going to do something at the yellow base, and that thing that he's doing at the yellow base is probably taking out that one yellow player. Is probably what's going on now. The yellow player has just lost a whole lot of health. So where does Steven Seven go? Oh, he's over here. Okay. So that yellow player has lost a whole lot of health, which means that Steven Seven can go ahead and try to take that yellow player out. Because there we go. Yellow is down. Yellow is down. Green is up, and blue and red and white are very much still up. But uh, yellow is down, which is very helpful for the game at the moment. So, Steven7 is on his way back to the base, and he's going ahead. Okay, so it was Red that took us out. Okay, so what kind of a defense does Red have? That is the question, and the defense that Red has is over here. This would be Pink, and they are dead, but Red... Oh, this is gray. Okay, red has really been around the map. There's like, every bridge is red, is what it seems like. There's just red bridges everywhere. But in any case, red is over here, and red is ready for anything, because they have their base is standardly defended. If that's a word, standardly. But, but in any case, red's bed is over here, and red's bed is in fact... Um, I don't know if they have obsidian. That's very difficult to tell, but who is that? That would be somebody. That would be green. Oh, green is going for it. Is green going to go for the bed and take it out, or is red going to head back in time? That is the question. That is the question. And red is one of the only teams that still have a bed, which means that that would be good news for Steven Seven if green can take out red's bed. And we shall see. Okay, green and red are in a fight right now. Oh, green has defeated him. Okay, quick, dig through. Don't eat your golden apple. What are you doing? Dig. Oh, actually, maybe that might be a smart idea because red is about to respawn. Um, oh, and he does not have an axe, it appears like. Or at least he didn't grab it quick enough. Nope, he doesn't have an axe. Okay, he's going to chop it with his sword. Chop the wood with the sword and take out the red bed. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed, sir. Very nice indeed. Okay, let's just check on Steven Seven. And then let's go ahead and check on white because white is uh, is still very much defended, but we have four teams still in with no beds and white with a bed, which is kind of a thing because for those of you guys who are unfamiliar with bed wars, basically a bed helps you, well, makes you respawn so you can uh, not die as easily. Like, well, you can die, but you can respawn, which is very nice. But Steven Simmons on his way, gathering materials. So let us check on white uh, white, ch okay, white has a full endstone defense, and if they have endstone on the outside, they probably have some pretty strong things on the inside, so I have to assume they might have obsidian, it's hard to tell, but chances are they have a lot of layers thick of endstone, unless they just layered it over top of the glass, that's always possible, but let's check on Steven7, Seven. Steven7 Seven is over here, and is on his way away from white. White is coming after Steven Seven, which is not good news for Steven Seven because white has no Ay, two of them at once. White has nothing to lose because oh, and Steven Seven managed to survive. That was impressive, sir. 
That was very impressive indeed. So Steven7 still has 15 health points and he's surviving. He's on his way up. There's two red players, two blue players, one green player, and then obviously white is still in the game, very much so. So, Steven7 is currently regrouping on Gray's base, which is a great place to regroup, so that is that that is the idea. But in any case, um, where do we have, what, do we, what, uh, what is who doing and who is doing what? Green is climbing up. Oh, green is going after white. Ooh. Is he going to be able to make it? That is the question. White is not suspecting a thing. White is just running around, just ignoring green, as if he doesn't expect a thing. So, is green going to be able to make it? Green is currently hiding in the corner. White is currently running all around the base to be a double defense. There's a sentry on top of the end stone. Green has his work cut out for him if he's going to be able to make it through the white base defense. And, uh, oh, he's been spotted. No, he hasn't. Has he? That white guy came pretty close to spotting him. Um, oh, green is going after the white guy. Okay. Okay, oh, and green has taken out white. Very nice indeed, very nice indeed. Green has only four health points. Is he going to go after the bed? No, he's not. He's going to jump down and die due to, due to fall damage? No? Good. Okay. Okay, so green decided he cannot make it through the white base. So, let's go ahead and check on Steven7. Steven7 is running around. Oh, Steven7 has some diamond armor, which is nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, and a diamond sword. Okay, Steven7 is really set up to be able to win this, if at all possible. So, Steven7 has 20 health points, diamond armor, diamond sword, ready to go. And an aqua helmet, which really helps as well, because, I mean, you know, aqua helmet, it's the same color as diamond, pretty much. So, it might be, uh, it might be very nice indeed. But Steven7 is on his way up to the pink base. Gonna go ahead and uh, grab some materials, probably. Gear up a bit. Let's go ahead and check on somebody else. Let's check on Red. How's that sound? So, Red, there is a Red player over here in the middle. Two Red players in the middle. And looks like one of them is heading over to this place. Oh, going back to the Red base, looks like. Okay. What about somebody else? What about somebody else? What about Blue? Blue is at the Blue's base. The Blue base is over here. Red has been there. But, uh, yeah, okay. So Blue is doing well. Let's check on Steven7 again. Steven7 is running through the middle trying to grab some diamonds. Trying to grab some diamonds, that's the idea. And the diamonds are, in fact, um, over there. But in any case, let's go ahead and check on White as well, because White is the main team that is... Hello. Um, thank you. Okay, the White... Oh, does that mean he has Obsidian? He might have Obsidian because he was digging into the middle there. So, yeah, better keep an eye on that. The, uh, the White team may, in fact, have Obsidian. Lipsonator says white have a camouflage advantage on this map by the looks of it. That is quite possible. Yeah, half the map is white, so it makes it a little more difficult to see where exactly white is. That's the issue. That is the issue indeed. But uh, Steven7 is on his way, grabbing some more diamonds, heading up to places and things, and heading up to where is that? That would be the aqua base back at his own base. Well, I guess our own base, except I've been out for quite a while. But in any case... Steven7 is on his way, and he's going ahead and grabbing something or other. We cannot see what he's grabbing unless we can actually click on the uh, item shop. No, we can't. We, can we click on... Oh, we can spectate Steven7, but it doesn't tell us what he's grabbing. It just tells us where he's looking. But in any case, that is a thing. So, let's see. Let's see. We've got... Okay, Steven7 is on his way somewhere, basically waiting this out possibly gearing up a whole lot the interesting thing is that we are right beside the white base and white has not gone well i don't know uh, i think red took out our base so white has not even come to our base yet 
And Steven76, oh, I heard an Ender Pearl. Does that mean somebody just, oh, red as Ender Pearl. Oh, when they put TNT and, uh, and a pop-up tower and looks like they were invisible as well. Whoa, that is quite the strategy. Okay, red has now built their way into somewhere. Um, where exactly did red go? They're like, okay, there's pop-up towers happening all over the place. That is crazy. And I don't know where red went. Is he inside the thing already, or is he not? That was like uh, <laughs> that was like a magic trick almost. Like you know how there's so many things going on at once that it throws you off the trail. It's like whoa, okay, what's happening there? But uh, I don't know. I can't see red anywhere. Let's uh, do the compass thing to look for red. Red. This one red guy is at the pink base, and the other red guy is. Uh, oh, they're both at the pink base. Oh, he must have ender pearled out of there. Oh, he must have been checking whether they have obsidian. That might be possible. Checking if they have obsidian. So, uh, he found out that they do. So then he went back to regroup. But that's good to know that you can actually ender pearl from one island to another. From right here, you can ender pearl over there, it looks like, by the looks of things. Which is very interesting indeed. Let's go ahead and check on Steven7 and see. Okay, Steven7 is on his way somewhere. He's grabbing some more diamonds, grabbing some more, heading up here, heading all the way up to the yellow base. And yellow is out, which is nice. Nice indeed. Makes it easier on the Steven7. Easier on the Steven7 is that white is out. Or yellow is out. Well, white is not out. That would make it even easier. But unfortunately, that's not the case at the moment. So uh, that is something we would like to see. But at the moment, it is very much not the case. So, we will see. So, Steven7 is gearing up for something. Not sure exactly what you have in mind. But we will find out. We will find out. But let's go ahead and check on White. White is at the White base. That seems like a good place for it. There is a giant red tower on White. Which is interesting. That White player is heading to build a something out of compact pop-up towers. Oh, you could defend the perimeter of the island with compact pop-up towers. That sounds like an interesting idea. That would prevent people from ender pearling onto it. Oh, we're hearing something ringing over here. It stopped now, but uh, was that possible that it was a trap being set off by an enemy player? Enemy player being in the area? That might be possible. But it may, in fact, not be a thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do you guys know? But in any case, um, let's see. So, okay. So, looks like it's a bit of a waiting game at the moment. What do they have in there? So, they have wool underneath the end stone, but they appear to have obsidian at the middle of the defense. So, that's going to be the best thing to do, maybe just to wait this game out until they, uh, until something happens. Like the bed being destroyed. That might be a good thing to wait for. But in any case, let's go ahead and check on Steven7 once again. Steven7 is. Ooh. Oh! Steven7's going for it. He thinks he's geared up possibly enough. We will see how this goes. Uh, where'd he go? Speaking of going. Ah, still there. Okay. Heading up inside the white pop up tower. Okay, that's nice. Oh, okay, I'm stuck. Okay, out of here. So, what is happening here? White is... Okay, it doesn't look like White's going to be leaving the base anytime soon. Because, uh... That's the... Oh! Looks like Steven7 is invisible! Okay, is White going to see him in time? Okay, okay. Oh, Steven7 is... Oh, building himself into the... Oh, no, 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 no. White saw him. Oh, White saw him. Oh! Uh, did he survive or what just happened what just happened there no was that not steven seven because it just said that uh red was killed by white so steven seven approaches and then red shows up so how does that work but steven seven is still here okay steven seven still has a chance but uh learning from the mistakes of others that uh, red guy didn't quite make it into the defense quick enough he was trying to build himself inside the white's base defense. And he didn't quite make it in quick enough. That is kind of a problem. 
But Steven Simmons on his way into the white base. White is down there, okay? Is White going to look up and see him? Nope, White is going to leave. But you might want to plug up the opening so that White doesn't uh, doesn't see you. Okay, oh, nice. Knock the White guy down. Nice, very nice indeed. Okay, and dig all the way in and take out the bed. Take out the bed. Take out the bed as quick as possible. Okay, build yourself in. Nice, that's a good strategy as well. And three, two, one. Three, two, one. The White bed has been destroyed. The white bed has been destroyed. Nicely done, Steven Seven. The white bed has been destroyed. The menace to the entire game for a long time has been removed. So, uh, oh, and already one white um, team player is down as well, which is nice indeed. So, it is 1v1v1v2. Hey, that actually uh, <laughs> that actually sounds like a song. 1v1v1v2. 1v1v1v2. That could, that could turn into a song. But in any case... Speaking of the 1v1v1v2, the 1 is aqua, 1 is white, 1 is red, and 2 is blue. You are blue, more precisely. But either way, Steven7 is in fact on aqua. And okay, so where's the other white team player? Because they are probably pretty well defended. Let's see, okay. This white team player is, uh, let's see, he does not even have diamond armor. It appears that he spent all of his money on building up his base defense instead of his own personal defense, versus Steven Seven built up his own personal defense, which is nice in a situation such as this. So that white player is down. So red is currently over here, and red has iron gear, enchanted iron gear, it looks like. But, uh, so probably protection or something, but red does not have diamond. But let's check on blue. Blue is iron. Oh, and that blue appears to be leather with a wooden sword. Interesting. Okay, but that guy is iron with what looks like a wooden sword. Yeah, it's a wooden sword. Okay, then. So, blue looks like, unless, of course, I mean, if you get a skilled enough player... They can win with a wooden sword. Like, pretty sure I've seen that happen before. But chances are blue is not that skilled. Um, so they may just be the easiest target to go for. Which is why Steven Seven is going for it right now, most likely. So let's see. Okay. Okay, go for that guy. Okay, that's one blue guy down. And, oh, actually, two blue guys down. Nice indeed. Okay, two blue guys down. So it's just Steven7 versus this, whoever it is, on red. Red is uh, Pickle333. And he is, in fact, in a pickle. Because Steven7 has been uh, winning the entire game so far, pretty much. And red is very much in a pickle at the moment because he doesn't know what to do. There's a... Uh, there's there's a lot of options. He's got diamond gear, which is nice. He apparently has a potion. Couldn't see which one that was, but he held it in his hand for a moment. But, uh, yeah, he's not holding anything in his hand except blocks, so it's very difficult to tell what gear exactly he has, except for the diamond armor, which makes it an interesting fight. Let's see if Pickle333 can get out of this pickle he's gotten himself into, and uh, let's see... It would be even better if he could do it seven times because Steven Seven, you know, you could do something seven times. Actually, that's got to be why Steven Seven wins all the time because, you know, in your name, like your name says seven. So you have to win like seven times for every time that you lose or something like that. I don't know. Something like that. But, uh, you know, that's or no, no, no. Maybe what that means is um, maybe what that means is that your chances of winning are 7 out of 10 or something like that. That seems to fit, because you're pretty good at this game. Very good indeed. So, 7 out of 10 chances. That would be like a 70% chance of winning, which is nice. So, that uh, red guy is in a pickle because he's got 333 out of 1,000 chances of winning, which makes it... Uh... Hey, actually, that adds up. <laughs> that adds up. Um, 70% versus 30%. That actually adds up to 100. So that is uh, that is nice indeed. Lieutenant says, but there's 333 pickles. Yeah, that's uh, that is the thing. 333. But 
if you take that as uh, as a percent of a thousand, then it the math works a little better. Otherwise, you have like three hundred percent of something, which is like okay, that is a lot of percentages. But this particular player in here, where'd he go? Oh, okay. Oh, Steven Seven is over here. Oh, wait a minute. Does Steven Seven not have any armor on? I'm confused. Oh, and I'm stuck. Okay, and Steven Seven is uh, fighting with that guy. Whoever, wh whatever's. Uh, get down here. And what's happening? Victory! Steven Seven has won that. Uh, I was going to say the duel. Actually, it was a duel because it was the end of Bed Wars. Steven Seven won the game of Bed Wars. Very nicely done, sir. Very well done indeed. That was a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the live stream. I'm going to have to end it here, but come back next week if you guys want to have some more fun, play some more games on Hypixel, and see you then.